Welcome to the Monday, January 18th, 2016 edition of Erner Barry's Market Video, sponsored by Absano's Market Insight Report. In today's video, we look at how the Marine Stewardship Council has recertified Alaska's pollock fishery. Then later, we look at this week's HRI movers. But first, bird flu has returned to a turkey farm in Indiana. Here with the story is your host, Kim Wheeler. The USDA on Friday confirmed the presence of highly pathogenic H7N8 avian influenza in a commercial turkey flock in Indiana. This is a different strain of avian flu than the strains that caused the 2015 outbreak. Samples from the turkey flock, which experienced increased mortality, were tested at the Indiana Animal Disease Diagnostic Laboratory at Purdue University, which is a part of the USDA's National Animal Health Laboratory network and confirmed by USDA Friday morning. State officials quarantined the affected premises and depopulation of birds has already begun. Birds from the flock will not enter the food system. For more on this and other news from the center of the plate, please visit foodmarket.com. Yeah. Moving forward, we now turn to Seafood News staff writer Mike Ramsing to tell us that the Marine Stewardship Council has recertified Alaska's pollock fishery. The Marine Stewardship Council recertified Alaska's pollock fishery in the Bering Sea, Aleutian Islands, and Gulf of Alaska. Alaska pollock is the largest fishery in the U.S. and largest fishery to be certified sustainable in the world. The 2016 catch quota is set at 1.34 million metric tons for the Bering Sea and Aleutian Islands, while the Gulf of Alaska pollock quota is 257,872 metric tons. The season will begin on January 20th. This marks the 11th year since the MSC originally certified Alaska pollock in 2005. Read more about Alaska pollock's recertification at Seafood news.com and get more market commentary and analysis from around the industry using the seafood tab in Comtel. Thanks Mike. Now we'll take a look at Erner Berry's HRI Buyer's Guide, a weekly publication dedicated to current commodity prices being paid to wholesalers and purveyors by hotels, restaurants, and institutions. Here's account manager Megan Mick with the latest movers of the week. In the chicken market, wings have moved front and center as the NFL playoffs are now in full swing. Buyers in need of additional product are being forced to pay sharp premiums on the spot market, that is, if there are even any availability. Wholesale wing prices have advanced more than 35 cents per pound since since the start of December. Shell egg prices are rebounding from post-holiday lows. Consumer demand is being driven by cold temperatures, features, and lower average pricing at the shelf. Meanwhile, producers are rotating flocks ahead of an early Easter period. Young hens have sized up in production, tightening medium supplies. Prices in the category are up 7.4% last week, but values in the larger sizes are also improving off recent lows. As winter weather gripped the country, buying interest items for roast type items remain strong. This was evident in many items in the chuck and round complex, none more so than goosenecks, which moved nearly 27% higher week to week. This menu item provided for good variety at a valuable price point. Thanks Megan. That concludes today's show. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Today's video is sponsored by Epsano's Market Insight for the Meat Industry, providing information, education, and insight for the beef, pork, and poultry industries. View a sample report at Epsano.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your free sample today.